James Wong, Sis Wine is next from Charlie Sellers. This is a Krishinaman. This is Lodi Zinfandel. Stay tuned, I'll tell you about the 2018 vintage. So a fantastic wine year and in this anti-prima season, as I like to call this, which is the anti-prima season, beginning of January, right, of every year, that is the unveiling of wines from a specific region. And I love this uh, particular term because I think it means to me, at least I hearken back to my experiences of Italy, but I also think about this in terms of the first of the season is Zinfandel Advocates and Producers, which has the first showing of every year in San Francisco. Uh, generally what happens is a grand tasting, which is the entire uh, you know, allotment of Zap producers who go to some uh, site here in San Francisco. Usually it's been like, I think, Pier 27 and uh, you know, taste through all the wines. It's so much fun to do because you know, I try to taste as much as I can while at that setting. You can't taste everything, impossible, but it's nice to try a lot of different uh, wines from different producers. So this is a highly anticipated producer. I put this on Instagram and I'll put actually my Instagram link down below so you can uh, click on that. So I was very privileged to be on the Lodi uh, tasting experience for uh, this particular edition of Zap. Obviously, it's a virtual tasting and Tegan Pasolacqua, the winemaker, was talking about this particular wine and the vineyard site. So this is an old vine site. First of all, I think the presentations are really nice. I think there's a, a really nice packaging here where you have this almost like, um, you know, a portion up here that's uh, bigger than the neck itself, which I think is always a key indicator of uh, this being a uh, Turley Cellars wine. The silhouette is definitely that burgundy style. And I think it makes for an uh, elegant package for the elegant wine that it is. And so it's, uh, you know, accolades and praises. You know, somebody said to me, why did, why did I pick this wine to be uh, selected for my wine of the week? Well, it's the only wine that I'll be tasting, you know, as far as I know, from Turley this year. So this is farmed organically, all natural yeast are utilized, aged 80% in used barrique, and 80% of that is French oak, the remainder is American, and it's bottled after 15 months in barrel. So here we go with this wine. And uh, so for me, I think, to, you know, I very much enjoy a lot of different wines during, say, U.S. Thanksgiving. This is not to just be enjoyed for Thanksgiving, it's to be enjoyed year-round. But to me, I think of so many uh, wonderful dishes that I serve that I can, you know, pair Zinfandel with, and it's a natural fitting for that particular dinner. But it's also good year round. I think uh, ribeye steak is very much something I would very much like to enjoy with this. Maybe uh, the Zuni uh, one hour brick chicken would be fantastic. A lot of things you can do with this wine. So let your imagination go wild on a wine like this because it's a fantastic, sophisticated, well-produced wine. Now this wine is 15.1% ABV and it is a $35 suggested retail price point. Rose petal, red cherry notes, uh, very nicely fresh wine, cedar, spice, and white pepper. Next is the palate characterization. Cherry, pomegranate, pepper, licorice, and ground spices. This is a 94 point wine out of 100 points. So this wine is definitely, you know, I can definitely taste that 15.1% ABV. It's not over the top, it's what Zinfandel is and, and definitely does, which is uh, produces a highly alcoholic wine. Nothing wrong with that. So before you serve this with food, which I definitely recommend, just enjoy a sip on your own to enjoy, taste this wine, get the character of the Kershineman Vineyard site, a very old site. I'm gonna say it's about 100 years old. And so on the site, you're gonna have uh, Carignan, Mondeuse, as well as Cinso, in addition to the majority of this is Zinfandel. So down below, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. If you already have, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And uh, questions and comments down below, the like button's down below, so please hit that button. And uh, so let's stay connected between videos. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. So you'll find me on my podcast, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Sante.